2014, I was approached by my friend Richard Dale, who had re-established the synagogue in Lincoln. Now, the Jews had been in Lincoln for a long time, and they'd found a object, an object in the collection, which was seen as a Sabbath lamp. And the idea was for me to recreate this Sabbath lamp to make it work within the synagogue, which is in Jews' court. They said it was made of bronze, but when I saw it and picked it up, I realised it was not made of bronze, because it was too light. And also, they said it had been cast, and I said, no, it hadn't it been fabricated, because I could see things that had been torn off it. <coughs> so my first thing was to try and see if I could make the bowl, which was the most complicated part of the whole object. So... I did that, um, but also I was just curious of how the actual thing was hung. But anyway, let's go on. So we progressed and we made the bowl, and we did that by the most primitive way of actually forming the thing, by sinking, sinking, hammering down, annealing and hammering down, to make the peculiar shape, and there we have the peculiar shape. Then there was the other bits of structure that had to be made, so thinking that I was, I was getting into the mind of a, of a medieval craftsperson. Okay, and basically I had to make the sections. So I made the sections by using rollers, which they wouldn't have done then. They would have forged it. And then I actually made the uprights. And they all had to be identical. So I forged them and made the uprights by using other techniques. And then I soldered the whole thing together. And there we have it. Right. So then, of course, we had to just check, just check that it was the right same looking thing. Oh, my God. Look, there we go. We have it. The two. God, they look remarkably similar, don't they? Well, for the normal person, they are pretty darn close. But remember this. We had to go back to the illustration of how to. So what I did was I did a test to start with. So I basically made the top part, which was like the rose part of it. And then sort of like experimented with the pin which I'd discovered on evidence from looking at the actual original that there must have been something there because it was being scraped a lot and also when you see the original the other ones they're all torn off so obviously the actual pin the rose part had to be very strong so I realized that because you could bend it very easily when it'd been annealed so actually I made it quite a strong pin and there you go at the top there's a strong pin and then we decided we'd have to make some sort of bracket and it was in the Jews court which is basically a timber frame building so I made a bracket that was sort of like made in a timber frame way really using tongued and grooved sort of ways of putting it together and then I suspended the actual Sabbath lamp off that bracket as you can see and there's a lamp in there that actually And there we have all the people. Marcus is the one on the right. Rich is the one on the left. 